Monday morning, June 13th, 2011. I just woke up, 7 a.m. I gotta work days today. Welcome to my vlog. Well, today's back to work day. That's all right. Um, gonna have me some breakfast. Normally I make bacon and eggs and stuff like that, but today I'm having a nice healthy bowl of raisin bran. What a morning. I feel like crap, but I always feel like crap on Monday mornings and morning shifts, so yeah. Gonna eat my raisin bran and get ready for work and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, it's 7.30, it's off to work time, so I'm gonna head her out, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. We're at work now, I'm gonna go inside and make myself a coffee, now that I have whitener to use, and uh, have a couple cups of coffee, and hopefully wake the frig up. So I'll be talking to you guys at around 9.30, 10, and uh, we'll take her from there. Peace. Alrighty guys, 10 o'clock break time, and I just came up for a smoke and a walk. Figured I'd talk to you guys. So yeah, well breakfast today really sucked. Said I was gonna have raisin bread but what I forgot to mention was the milk was sour so awesome take a great big bite of sour milk and raisin bran and it tasted like shit so that was a waste of cereal threw that in the garbage friggin yeah so far today has been nothing but internal calls so I guess IT did some stuff over the weekend gives us something to do right makes the morning go by faster looks like they're still working on the roof next door as you can tell, I still got all the cranes and everything set up up there. I have a feeling it's going to rain today. It's supposed to be miserable today. Tomorrow is supposed to be a friggin' high of 26 degrees Celsius. Right now it's pretty chilly out. I don't get it how it can go from being so cold to so warm back to cold again. Like last night, I froze midnight. I had to uh, get up and close the window. <laughs> it was cold out. But, uh, yeah. What can you do, eh? What can you do? Not sure what's going on tonight. Not sure what we're doing for dinner tonight either. Gonna cook again. So yeah, that'll be another cooking video. Another Adam Cooks, or a lot of you who follow the Skaven channel, remember the old cooking with the hobo. I know I want to pull the battery out of the Trans Am tonight and do one of two things. Either bring it back to Walmart and get a fresh battery, or just put a charge on it and see if she'll hold a charge. I might just bring it back to Walmart and get a fresh one and be done with it. Because it could just be the battery itself not holding the charge. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that when I get home and go from there. I'm going to see what the expiry tag on the battery is because it does have a five-year Energizer warranty. So we'll go from there and, uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Mmm, leftovers for lunch yummy and the coffee too alrighty guys it's four o'clock time to go home let's do this oh boy it's freaking hot in here this is 24 degrees celsius so that's bullshit super not 24 degrees celsius out right now oh so glad the work shift is over time to go home and relax and four more days to go and the weekend is here again oh freaking intersections suck you ever notice that when you're waiting at an intersection cars see that you're waiting at an intersection that they just slow themselves right freaking down and it's like they know you want to go but they're timing it so that you can't sons of bitches oh i just want to go home that scruffy fluffy puppy out the guy at work got me a demo copy of duke nukem 3d <laughs> apparently some people were accepted into the demo and he got a copy in the mail or some shit he brought it in and he's like here my computer can't run this so you install it and play it so i might play some duke nukem 3d tonight that'd be kind of fun or what is it duke nukem forever sorry not 3d duke nukem forever so i'm a little excited to play that Get some old Duke Nukem going. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Ducky go quack quack cow go moo. Lemur go sniff sniff. How's about you? Chicka chicka bum 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 bum. Chicka chicka bum 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 So glad today's over. We were short staffed today, which sucked, but thank God. Tomorrow we should have full staff again, hopefully. Here's friggin' hoping. Here's friggin' hoping. Longest light ever. Holy shit, a Ford Tempo. Oh, those are getting rare. I wonder how the website tempotopaz.com is doing. I haven't been there in a long time. It's because I haven't owned a Tempo in a long time. Some people ask, how's the best way I can get the most performance out of my Tempo? A lot of the times people respond, trade it in. <laughs> Buy a different car. Come on, assholes. Shade of green you friggin' waiting for. Sons of bitches. Nice. Cops trying to friggin' go. People are blocking them in, not moving over, not getting the hell out of the way. Friggin' assholes. He's long gone now. We're almost home. Yippee skippy. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. 
Uh, it's always Mondays and Fridays. The traffic is always friggin' congested. Pisses me right off. Yeek. Big dumpy behind me. I'm scared. All right, guys, once again, what shade of green you friggin' waiting for? Sons of bitches. Alrighty, home stretch, baby. Uh, we'll uh, be home soon, so I'll uh, friggin' talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, I'm home now, and still not sure what we're doing for supper. Ginger Vlogs contacted me and asked me if I was going to the boat tonight. I didn't even know we had a boat to go to. Apparently, they turned the old chief commando into a bar. I've never been. Oh. Chipmunk? Chipmunk. Chippy? Chippy, chippy, chippy. Oreo had a Mexican standoff with this guy. Look at him. Holy crap, dude. You guys see that? He just ran right between my legs. This guy has no fear. No fear. Huh. You know, he could have went around me, went through the grass. No, nope, no. Nope. Apparently, grass versus me, I'm the lesser of the two evils. There you go. <laughs> Somebody must be uh, hand feeding that guy because, uh, oh no, he's the one who lives in the upper level of the garage. Never mind. He's used to me. That's why he probably did that. Huh, that was funny. But yeah, apparently they're going to the boat tonight, which is a bar grill. So, I don't know. I don't know when that's happening. I don't know what the, the girlfriend and I have in store for tonight. So, uh, yeah. I'm just waiting for her to get home. She's home now. So, I'm going to mention it to her, see what she thinks, and go from there. So, i got to pull the battery out of the Trans Am and put a charge on it. And then, uh, yeah, no idea what's going on tonight. I'll let you guys know. Alrighty, well, it's supper time, and uh, girlfriend's kind of sleeping. So, I'm going to make us some chicken. And I got five pieces of chicken here, mainly because they were sitting in the freezer. They had a lot of frost on them. I figure I'll cook them all up and what we don't eat tonight we can bring our lunches tomorrow maybe uh put them on some pita bread and make wraps out of them or some crap but uh that's what i'm doing i'm gonna cook up some chicken maybe make some potatoes and some veggies with it and uh go from there the spice you see on the chicken is this uh oh <laughs> yeah yeah that's the spice i'm using <laughs> is this montreal steak spice that was a good one right guys yeah but, um that's what you see all over the all over the chicken is uh, Montreal steak spice. And it adds a good flavor, so I like it. I like it a lot. Chicken's going pretty good in there. Take a look. Um, nom nummy. And I got some potatoes boiling over here. And our vegetable will be cut wax beans. We'll see how these are. Should be pretty good. Yeah, it's a dull looking plate. But we got chicken, we got beans, or I think those are beans. And potatoes. Should be pretty awesome. I'm gonna go eat. Alrighty, well, you guys are probably wondering what's going on with the Trans Am, so I just came outside. I've already pulled the battery out of this guy, and it is currently on the charger. Getting charge. Can you guys hear it? She's charging. It was stone cold dead, so we'll let that charge up. Maybe I'll let it go overnight. I don't think it'll hurt it. Hope it doesn't hurt it. I'll come and check on it later on and see what it says, and uh, take it from there. Alrighty, I'm gonna head her back inside and see what the what is, and we'll go from there. Guys, Felix is sleeping. I got the compressed air. Watch this. <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> He's gonna puke in my shoes. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry, man. He's so mad at me. He's so mad. That was fun. Well, I figured I'd better come back out here and see how this battery's doing. Meter hasn't really moved too much. I don't know where it should be. Oh, shit. We need to move it to 12 6 amp charge. That's better. I only had it doing a trickle charge 2 amp. Ah, stupid me. Sometimes I wonder about myself. But, uh, yeah, she's charging. Oh, I thought I was boiling there. And she's charging up, so we'll see how this goes and, uh, Hopefully tomorrow I can go to the MTO either on my lunch break or after work and get the uh, stick ores for the car. And then um, maybe tomorrow, ah, it's got shitty oil in it, son of a bitch. I gotta do an oil change on it. I was gonna say tomorrow night we can take it for a rip. I gotta put gas in it too. I don't even think it has enough gas to make it to the gas station. <laughs> All these friggin' cold starts that I've been doing. But yeah, I gotta put some gas in her and some new oil. Son of a bitch. I could always just bring it to Walmart and pay for the $20 oil change, I guess. Uh, do I want those goofs touching my car? I don't know. I don't know. Oh well, we'll figure it out. We'll let the battery charge and go from there. There we go. I just made lunch for tomorrow. Using the chicken, I chopped it up into slices and made myself a chicken sandwich for lunch. Pretty good. Still got another piece of chicken left. Girlfriend's probably gonna take that in her lunch or maybe make a chicken salad with it. Who knows? 
But uh, yeah, still got one whole chicken left. Awesome. I'm back out here in the garage just to uh, check on the battery. So far it doesn't look too promising. Apparently, what's supposed to happen when she's fully charged is that red needle there should go down to 100%, I believe. Not doing it. So, we'll just let it sit and let it do its thing and I'll check on it in the morning and hopefully uh, this piece of shit has a charge. If not, back to Walmart it goes. But another battery I'm having a problem with is my Panasonic here, my 240 frame per second Panasonic SD or HTC SD20 here. I got the old, the stock battery in there now and this one here I think works. This battery here, however, I bought aftermarket from Future Shop and when I stuff it in the charger, it's not getting a charge. So what I'm wondering is, is the charger shot or is it my friggin battery? So we'll take that battery out. Battery out of the Panasonic. Nothing. My battery charger no longer works. Shit. This is not good. That cord is still plugged in. Yes. Let me try it on a different outlet and see what happens. This thing's just dicked. But, if you hook up the AC power to it, you can still power the camera. Which means it's got to be something in the charging circuitry. So I'm going to do myself a favor and tear this son of a bitch apart and see what's inside. Maybe just a blown fuse or something. Before I go tearing this thing apart, I thought about it. And I should probably ask the girlfriend first if we bought warranty on this camera. Because if we did, this piece of shit's covered. And if we didn't, then I'll fucking rip her apart. Then I'll friggin' rip it apart. Because, um, they don't make this camera anymore. They don't make the charger anymore. They don't even make the batteries for it anymore. You can get them on eBay second hand. But the actual Panasonic authorized batteries, they don't make. So, if she can, uh, if we have warranty on it, I can bring it in. I don't know what they're going to do. If they're just going to say, well, give me the camera. Give me the, everything that it came with. And then friggin' we'll give you a brand new camera or what they do if they send off the power supply I don't know but we'll look into it and see what they say but guys it's getting kind of late so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here finish it on a battery charging note so you all know that I'm working on it I'm gonna get the Trans Am going soon so if you like today's video go ahead and hit the like button because you know me I like it when you hit the like button it lets me know you like the video and I like that and if you have any questions comments or concerns about today's video go ahead and leave them in the comment section below I'll be sure to answer because well you guys know me that's what I do and until next time keep on vlogging